resurrection, victory and celebration, taken from Matthew 28, verses 1 to 10. Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. Come, see where his body was lying. And now go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead and he is going ahead of you to Galilee. You will see him there. Remember what I have told you. The women ran quickly from the tomb. They were very frightened, but also filled with great joy. And they rushed to give the disciples the angel's message. And as they went, Jesus met them and greeted them. And they ran to him, grasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell my brothers to leave for Galilee, and they will see me there. He is not here. He is risen. You will find him in Galilee. On that third day, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, their hearts heavy with grief and defeat, went to visit the last resting place of Jesus, a tomb sealed with a huge and immovable stone hewn out of rock, the final grim affirmation of his death, and as they thought, the end of the life and ministry of their saviour, teacher, friend, and the son of God. Also, they thought, the quaking earth beneath their feet announced the earth-shattering news that they were about to hear by way of an angelic messenger whose very brilliance and majesty saw grown men faint with fear. He is not here. What could this frightful, beautiful being mean? Only two days before, they themselves had witnessed the whipping, the crucifying, and the dying of their Lord and Saviour. He is risen. Could it be true? Didn't Jesus say that he would rise again? But his death, so brutal, so public, and so final, seemed to defy the victory that he had prophesied of. Hadn't these women had their world turned upside down just two days prior? And now this twist. The tomb is empty. You will see him in Galilee. I think we could never imagine the heady mix of fear and exhilaration that hurried the feet of the Marys as they rushed to share the good news that defied the anguish and sorrow of Jesus' death. He had not left them after all. He was alive. They would see him again. Likewise, I think that the two Marys could never have imagined the throng of believers who would go on to join them in their exaltation. We who would read the stories, commit our hearts and lives and continue the great commission that Jesus left can join them and the disciples and every other follower of Jesus in the declaration that Jesus lives, he has triumphed and his love conquers all.